Greetings, and welcome back to the Creation Series. We're going to launch right into it, but first, bring forth the standard disclaimer. And the Lord spake, saying, First thou shalt take out the holy pin, then shalt thou count to three, no more, no less. Three shall be the number thou shalt count to, and Wait a minute, that's not the standard disclaimer. That's the instructions for the holy hand grenade of Antioch. Well, let's try this again with the real standard disclaimer. This video contains a path working or guided meditation. It is intended to be watched or listened to while you're in a stable position, such as sitting down or lying down on the floor, pillows, a comfortable chair, etc. Do not ever watch or listen to this while driving a motor vehicle of any kind or while bicycling or walking. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and hold it for a count of two. Then let it all out. Take another deep breath. Hold it for a count of two. Then let it all out. Picture the familiar door leading to the step of creation. And remember that when you open it, and pass through it, it will always remain behind you, ready to take you back to the physical plane. When you go through, you see the fog, and you can also see the symbol that you placed on yourself glowing in anticipation. You know that you can make things here that you can carry back with you. I'd like you to try something. Close your inner eye and imagine that you are standing on a round disk of glory. It is big enough that if you wished, you could sit down on it and still have room for a virtual space around it. When you open your inner eye, you see the disk of glory forming out of the fog and becoming solid. Now, you know that the first step in creating a ritual space is creating a circle. Try calling the quarters or the elements. As you do so, you see the symbols of the elements forming in their appropriate places. And a sense of peace seems to come to you, but you feel as though something is missing. You have a solid floor beneath you and the elements in their places, but above and around you is all open space. It does not feel like a totally protected circle. Time to add something else. Close your inner eyes again. Now picture a clear dome rising up from the floor. The dome needs to have enough headspace to make you feel comfortable. When you open your inner eye again, you see the dome forming with a soft glow. And if you look down, you notice the floor is glowing softly as well. You've created a shielded, personal, sacred space. Remember how in creation and shielding you drew the shielding into the object and how in the path of creation you drew the symbol on your arm? We're going to do a combination of the two processes. Hold your hand out, palm up. Now think of the shielded circle you just erected shrinking down into your palm. Not the floor, 
but the dome and the corridors. When it is all drawn into your palm, you can see it there as a glowing image. Finally, the circle is gone, and all that remains is the floor you're standing on. With a thought, you can dismiss the floor to swirl back into the fog. Turning around, you find the door. Open the door and walk back through it. Close your inner eyes and let yourself return back to your physical body, to this mortal plane, this time, and this place. Remember to let yourself stretch a little before you try to move. Now, take a look at your palm. If you open your third eye, you'll see a glow where the shielded circle is. I want you to think of what you may do with this information. Think on this. The step of creation is not just available in the astral plane, in the place where you went to do the work. What do you think magic is? Now, I've told students before, and I've wrote about it, that magic equals energy plus intent plus will. But what's the substance of it? What are you forming when you do magic? And how are you forming it? You're using the stuff of creation, as I call it, that exists everywhere and in everything. I'd like for you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, try leaving them on the social media where you found this, Facebook or YouTube, etc. Or you can write me an email. My email is markteach, that's M-A-R-C-T-E-A-C-H at Outlook.com. As always, bright blessings and Mark Silver out for now.